Okay, guys, real quick. This is for all my Humana clients. You guys have probably all got your cards by now. And you're probably wondering that what's next. So what's next is, guys, this is going to be a lifesaver for you to make sure that Humana is not overbilling you, to make sure you can just click and order over-the-counter stuff. There's a lot of other benefits that you get that you're not aware of, and you can't really get to them unless you create an account. So for all you folks that have a, a smartphone, which is an iPhone or a um, Android, you're just going to go to uh, your app store. Now, you can either go to your iPhone or you can go to your, your, um, your Android. If you go to your iPhone, you're going to go to your app store. I'm going to send you all this information in a text as well as an email. But where it says Apple App Store, I'll send that link to you. Most of you know where to go. Or if you have an Android, you're just going to do the Google Play. You're going to click on that. But the first thing you're going to do when I send you this email or text, you're going to create your Humana account. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on Humana Account Registration Page. And it's going to take you right here. It says, Step 1, Member Information. So they got to confirm you as a member. Real simple. You could either put in your Humana Member ID or... You can also put in your Medicare number. So let's just go with the Humana ID. All right. And that's the number that starts right here with an H. Starts with an H. It's on the front of your card. And all you're going to do is type that where it says enter number. You're going to just type that in. And just to save some time, I'm going to do one right now, one of my clients. And we're going to put their ID number in. All right. So there's the ID number. We put it in. I've already, this is an old client. This is not active anymore, so it doesn't matter. All right, date of birth. You got to put your date of birth in. So put your date of birth in. And it makes you type type it in. So 09 21 1952. So boom. What do we do? We put our member ID that's on the front of our Humana card in. You could also use your Medicare ID number. Like I said, right here, Medicare ID. We put in our date of birth and we put in our zip code and then we hit continue. The zip code wrong. The Douglas zip code is 31533. So just make sure so you answer those questions. You click continue. Yay, it's loading. All right, so then after that, you're just going to put either your email or somebody's email. you got to have an email. If you want, you can just put mine, May River Medicare. If you don't have one, use mine and I'll, I'll help you out. All right, now you got to create a username. So... I usually just put first name, and then I'll just put the year I was born. That way you can remember it and write it down, maybe put it in your phone. And then I always use my daughter's name for a password. You might want to use a son or daughter's name with a number. And they give you, you know, if it doesn't take, it'll tell you why. All right. Can be. Okay, so I think we're all set here. We're good. There must be six characters. Does not contain spaces. Oh, lowercase only. So with your username, it's got to be lowercase only. All right? So that's it. With a username, do not capitalize anything. Password, it doesn't matter. You can capitalize. It's got to be 8 to 15 characters. Must be different from your ID. Must be different from your username. All right? So we can't have the, the password is the same as the username. And then they're going to ask you for a special child. I always put childhood nickname. And I just put your regular name. And you just confirm that answer. And you're good to go. Watch this. Boom. We continue. Oh, username's already taken. Okay. So let's just do a different one. So since Margaret's pretty common, let's do... Let's do... Let's try middle name. All right. Uh... So sometimes you might have to play around with the usernames. Oh, I capitalized it, so. All right, and then let's try it again. So if someone's already has a username that you type in, they're going to make you do it over again. So maybe try something a little bit not so generic. All right, what was your childhood nickname? And hopefully this will work. All right, great. So here we go. So we're in. Uh, and then all we got to do 
is go to the dashboard. Now let me show you what you can do once you're in. A lot of cool things you can do. All right. And then it says uh, it's going to make you. So you're, So what I would do is I would hit text. So you get a text. But I'm going to do email. Because they're going to ask. They're going to send you a code to make sure that you're really you. And then you got to type that code in. Send confirmation code. I would just have a text to your cell phone. Um, easiest way to get it. And then you got to retrieve that code by going to either your text messages or your or your email. And they're going to send you a little number. All right. We're going to, there we go. So they just sent me an email with a code just to verify, oops, just to verify who I am, that I'm, I am who I say I am. So let's see here. Again. All right, so we're going to enter the code. We're going to submit it. So we're going to put the code in. And then we're going to hit submit code. All right, great. We did it. Email verified. So once you just spit that code that they text you or email you back out, you're simply going to go to the dashboard. And now let me show you what you can do. When you're in, so this is your own personal My Humana account. All right? Here you go. So what can you do? Well, let's look. Let's go to pharmacy. You can you can look up the price of your drugs, okay? You can track your medications. All right, so I know this is a brand name drug, so good. She's got extra help, so she's only paying nine eighty five for brands, three ninety five. All right, that's good. Now, what we can also do is we can look at. The coverage, your benefits, all that good stuff, documents, forms, my health, there's preventative care, think about surgery. Telehealth is great if you're sick and you can't go to the doctors in person. This shows you how you can just call up and get prescriptions or get uh, if you have a cold or allergies or upper respiratory infection, stuff like that, or maybe skin and eye problems. This tells you all about how to just call that number and not have to go to the dentist, all right? <clears throat> now, the very last thing you want to do is once you log into My Humana, if you have a cell phone, type in uh, Humana Pharmacy, and then we can, um, we can do the final step here, Humana Pharmacy. So what are we going to do here? We're going to use the same password. All right, and username to log in to your My Pharmacy. Okay. So you put your username in again. You put your password in. And boom, now you got now you got your My Humana and you also got your My Pharmacy. And what I the reason why I went to here is because check this out. What you can do, you can look at your over the counter. All right, you can shop the store. You can start clicking on stuff and you can start ordering things. And all that will come straight to your house. All right? Come straight to your house. So if you click on Shop OTC, all right, you can start ordering things. You just type in the three-digit code, collect how many you want, add to cart. You guys get the picture. All right? You can even, um, if you need diabetic supplies, you can uh, you can start clicking on that kind of stuff too. Glucose monitor, things of that nature you can get. Um, so, but if you have diabetes, there's another way to get those too. So anyway, play around. Look on here. Look at the things you can actually get all your uh, all your Humana generics sent to your house for free. All right, so you can just do all that. If you have any problems, you just can call the Humana um, number. Call the 
800 number on the back of your card. All right, but there's all kinds of things. So first log into the My Humana, and then you can use the same username and password to log into the pharmacy, and that's where you can start ordering your over-the-counter stuff, all right? Quick order form. Just type in what you need done, what you need to send to your house. And that's it, guys. You have a great day. All right? Bye-bye.